All right, so really regardless of how we've gotten here today, I know that so many restaurant owners are just so excited that we're finally here. And I want to introduce you to Ken Irvin. He's here at Blue Bohem here in Kensington. Ken, describe to me that feeling yesterday whenever you heard the news. Well, this whole time has been an emotional roller coaster. It's uh, are we open, are we closed, are we open, are we closed? It's We're very happy. We're really looking forward to getting back indoors as well, at least at our 50%, or at the very least 25%. But we're happy to be where we are right now, but we're still not content. I can't imagine. You've changed really your entire outlook. I just stepped inside. It's like another world. If we can look here to, right now, if we can look at these uh, heaters, the things that we have adapted, not only at your restaurant here, but I'm sure at your other restaurant in IB, talk about the money that's gone into just making this whole outdoor dining well, possible. For, for, uh, for many restaurants, we're spending money that you don't have to be able to make a little bit of money and not enough to survive by any means. So we've been have to be really creative about what we've been doing. And unfortunately, a lot of restaurants won't be able to do what we're doing because they're closed and they're closed forever. And uh, their restaurant families don't have work as well. So while we're very happy right now, we're also uh, it's a mixed blessing because it's very sad for a lot of our restaurant community. Ken, you have not had to hire a waitress or a waiter in how long? 12 years. That's the turnover rate that a lot of people look at and think, okay, this is a place people are coming because they are long-time fans. Right. What is your message to the elected officials, those making these decisions that seem to be so back and forth? What would you tell them coming from someone who's just trying to survive? Well, I think that we want to follow proper procedures and protocols. And for those people who want to go out and eat and enjoy themselves in a safe environment, which is not only safe for our guests, but safe for our, our employees as well and their families. And if you don't want to go out to eat, stay at home and we'll deliver to you. We do it for free within two miles here at Blue Boam. And, you know, with the outdoor uh, stuff that you we were talking about, you know, every restaurant has a soul and we've tried to recreate the interior soul of the restaurant and the exterior which, you know, we're challenged every day in this industry and we're challenged to be creative. And that creative level to replicate that feeling, that soul on the outside is probably one of the biggest challenges that I personally have ever dealt with. Ken, what happens from here? What, what, where do you go from here? How do you adapt to make sure that you are staying uh, afloat, so well, to speak? You know, one of the things that we're dealing with, not for me, but what I've heard in the last couple of days from a lot of my restaurant industry friends is it's extremely difficult to get our employees back to work for a variety of reasons. Some have gone on to other types of work because they haven't got their unemployment insurance yet uh, because mm -hmm. that's been a struggle statewide right. especially with all the fraud that's been uh, coming to surface right now so uh, getting staff to come in and work to service what we're able to do at this minimum level has that been could change at any moment and I'm sure that's also where you have to be Absolutely. looking ahead. Ken Irvin thank you so much we appreciate you letting us come out here on what will be the first yeah. day back in business for Blue Bohem and guys again we are in Kensington they've got heaters that are not only built in to the uh, inside of this outdoor seating area but they've got extra heaters on the table so they've got you taken care of we do know this weather is changing uh, by the minute right now really kind of uh, not what we're used to in, in Southern California especially in San Diego, but they're going to be doing this the best they can, as will so many. So just make sure you're supporting your local businesses, those ones that can be open. If you feel comfortable going out and eating at outdoor dining, they are certainly doing their best to make sure everybody stays safe like they've been trying to do all along. Reporting here live in Kensington, I'm Hunter Sowards, KUSI News.